Then there's the law of symmetry. We tend to parse complex scenes in a way that reduces the complexity. So we try to simplify things. We try to organize them in a way that makes it easier to interpret. <coughs> so one of the ways we do that is we try to simplify it and give it symmetry if it's there. Now this one's particularly interesting because there's some will argue that this actually has a uh, evolutionary component. What do you think that evolutionary component might be, theoretically? OK, you are a caveman. You are out in the wilderness. And here comes something, big and loud. How quickly do you want to process that information? Very quickly. So in order to process information quickly, what's one, one way of doing that? I don't think I can reach. I can't reach. There's my subtle hint with my mouse. Come on, guys, I know you can read. Yeah. You reduce the complexity. Why? Because we can process it faster and there's less cognitive load. So some will actually argue the better we are at figuring things out quickly, the more likely we are to be able to run away quickly and survive. So it is natural for us to try to simplify things. Let's take a look at an example. What do you see here? Two squares. All right, so we have a tendency to see this, two squares. Very simple. Right, very symmetrical. We tend not to see two arrows. Why? Because this tends to be more complex. It's a more complex shape than two squares. And then we tend not to see this funky shape. I don't even know what name it would have. The funky shape with the square inside. Again, it's a much more complex shape. So we seek symmetry. We seek to simplify things whenever possible. What do you guys see here? I don't know how well you can see it on the, on the screen here. It's a cube, right? So again, it's using a bunch of symmetrical shapes. And we are also using other laws, such as the law of continuity. continuity. And what else? Closure. 